Google. You can use it for everything from finding photos of cats to finding photos of cats to... Is anyone here not looking at photos of cats? I'm shopping online. Great. For a sushi costume for my cat. Good enough. Millions of us trust Google to search the web, but how trustworthy is it for online shopping? Check out viewer Becky wanted to buy her kids some rocking chairs for Christmas. So she Googled it and one of the top results was zoxoro.com.au. She paid $380, but the presents never arrived. And tragically, to get last minute replacements, she had to go to Ikea on Christmas Eve. No! Poor Becky. Christmas Eve is one of the 365 worst days to go to Ikea. Turns out Becky's experience with Oxoro is not unique. They have hundreds of terrible reviews online and they've been on the Office of Fair Trading list of most complained about companies in New South Wales almost every single month since they started publishing it. And if that's not bad enough, Zoxoro also sell a five pack of men's underwear for almost $40,000. Although you do get free shipping. But despite all this, Google continued to run Zoxoro product advertisements in their results. At one point, Zoxoro had the fourth most product listings of any website on Google Australia. So why does Google lead shoppers to sites like Zoxoro? Huh? It's a good question. When you search something like... something else... Google uses a really sophisticated algorithm that searches billions of web pages to try and bring you the ones that are reliable and relevant. That sounds helpful. It is, but it only applies to this much of your search results. These ones that say ad and these ones that say sponsored and literally everything on this Google shopping tab all use a very different method. These stores are... Hey! This is important. I know, I just... go on. These stores have all paid Google to be here, and the more they pay, the better their placement will be. So a hat store might pay Google a dollar per click for ads on search terms like felt hats. And for some bizarre reason, carpet water damage Melbourne costs around $90 a click. These craft beer and beer doll stains won't budge, even after a whole case of coconut water. Oh, I'll Google carpet water damage Melbourne. The advertising revenue from all these clicks really adds up. Google's got so much money they can make all their offices look like a spoilt child's bedroom. So Google is really two different systems working at the same time. There's good Google that's designed to bring the most relevant websites to you and bad Google that's designed to bring you to the websites that pay Google the most. And when you Google something, say, sweater vests, I mean, this is the ABC after all. Nice vest. You're actually using both of these systems at once. And if you click the Google Shopping tab or shop for sweater vests with Google and miss this or this really prominent piece of text, you might not realise that you've switched entirely over to bad Google and you're far more likely to get shown dodgy websites like Soxoro. This doesn't mean that everyone who advertises with Google is bad, but it does mean that dodgy websites can use the paid model to get their links to the top, and plenty of them do. Come with me. Nice vest. For starters, via GoGo, the shonky online ticket reseller we covered in episode one, pays to get their links to the top of your Google results. And when we searched for Samsung Galaxy phones or to buy cameras or for Samsung smartwatches, Google Shopping returned top results for the stores Android Enjoyed, Camera Sky, and Liqueur, which are all businesses the New South Wales Department of Fair Trading warn against because consumers have lost around 150 grand through them. That's like 18 pairs of Zoxoro underpants. <laughs> Not only that, it looks like Camera Sky have a five star rating, but that rating is for the camera, not the store, even though it's right under the store name. Which is yet another way that bad Google can lead you astray. But Google suggests another option. It's, oh, Zoxoro again? Yeah, where the camera's twice the price and might not even arrive. Where are we going? I want to find out why Google lets all these dodgy merchants run ads on their website. So we're going straight to Google's head offices. What do you have to say to people who have been scammed by stores on Google Shopping? So this is a children's play centre. Cool, I'll take an hour. Real Google told us that they conduct four different types of reviews of online sellers. But whatever their processes are, six months after we first asked Google about Zoxoro, they were still at the top of Google Shopping results. 
and if Google had just Googled it, they would have found all the Zoxoro reviews they could possibly need. So don't trust stores just because they're at the top of your Google shopping results. Google sort them by profitability, not reliability. And if you come across a store that you don't know when you're shopping online, check some review sites. Good Google can help you with this. Or Bing. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> For more information, check out our previous segment on online shopping. If you used a credit or a debit card to make your online purchase and it never arrived, then you may be eligible for something called a chargeback. Well, that certainly sounds like a thing. For people who got ripped off by Zoxoro, like Becky, the good news is that Zoxoro have finally closed down. But this doesn't address any of the problems with Google Shopping or the fact that they let sites like this thrive in the first place. On the upside, I got these sweet undies at their closing down sale for only 10 grand. With free shipping. <laughs>